Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, we're gonna jump once again into the Bud Light foolishness, but guys, we have a plot twist. <laughs> the plot thickens. Guys, you think these companies would know from the Bud Light thing that's unfolding in front of us in real time not to go down the woke path, right? Because it's been like a, a month and a week since the Bud Light of foolishness, and Bud Light is still hurting. And guys, look, Miller Light jumped into the woke arena now. And Miller, guys... Miller Lite sales were going up as Bud Light sales were going down. What were they thinking? Who is this for? <laughs> Guys, please, a reminder to openly mock these kind of companies as much as possible okay because it's hilarious so guys we're gonna jump into this ad but before we do please remember to like subscribe drop a comment it really helps to keep this channel going check the community tab for the lives and hit the notification bell. You guys, Miller Lite slam for woke. The commercial as Bud Light controversy continues. Or controversy, as they say in Britain, right? As Bud Light continues to face backlash over its controversial partnership with, a, with Dylan Mulvaney, fellow light beer brand Miller Lite is facing heat from its own cr critics over a recent advertisement. Miller Lite's video advertisement titled Bad-ish, Good-ish features... Comedian Lana Glazer announcing an initiative from the beer co company that would see it try to make up for not always doing right by women. <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys, you guys. Oh, no. All this. And you want to talk about kicking your own self in the balls. <laughs> You guys, look at this. Look at this. Part of the initiative includes taking old sexist beer advertisement and transforming and forming it into fertilizer to be used by women brewers to grow hops. Guys, do we even want to try and watch this? You know what? Let's try it. I don't care if I get a copyright. Let, let's see. Here's a little known fact. Women were among the very first to brew beer ever. From <laughs> Mesopotamia to the Middle Ages to colonial America, women were the ones doing the brewing. Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. To the founding mothers of beer? Are they serious, guys? <laughs> guys, I didn't make this up, okay? <laughs> I didn't make this up, okay? This is real. Wow. <sighs> Look at this <laughs> Wild. It's time beer made it up to women. So today, Miller Lite is on a mission to clean up not just- It's time beer made it up to women. Their sh the whole beer industry's sh Miller Lite has been scouring the internet for all this sh and buying it back so that they can turn it into good sh for women brewers. Literally, good sh How, you ask? Ladies, take it away. Guys, I said this in a live stream. Don't ever date a woman that swears all the time. See, all these effinists think that it's cute to swear like drunken sailors, right? It, just look at this this ad. It, it's, it's jarring. Why is this woman swearing this much, right? And this is the ultimate example of these effinists think, thinking that they have to become men. First, we turn the bad shit into compost. Then we feed compost to worms. Push out beautiful fertilizer. That good helps farmers grow quality hops. Oh, guys, we're gonna be edgy and have all these girls saying foul language. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, guys, that'll be awesome. That'll be lit. <laughs> Which is then donated to women brewers to make their own really good. Shit. But there's definitely more shit out there in your attic, in the garage, in your parents' basement. Send any shit you got into Miller Lite, and they'll turn that into good shit, too. Oh. So here's to women, because without us, there would be no beer. <laughs> you guys, they're serious. <laughs> without women, there would be no beer? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, you guys. Look at this. 
Look at this. Elizabeth Hitch, Senior Director of Marketing for a Miller Lite. Of course, didn't Bud Light learn about having a woman in charge of their mar- marketing, right? Said in a March news release that for Women's History Month, the Miller Lite wanted to recognize that without women, there would be no beer. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> In the same March 6th release, it was announced, it was announced that, that the purchased Miller Lite products supported a $60,000 donation to the Pink Boot Society, which aims to assist, inspire, and encourage women and non-binary individuals in the fermented alcoholic beverage industry to advance their careers do education. How about they just make good beer and people buy it? How's that for a concept, right? Guys, I was down in Charlotte about two years ago, right? And there was a beer tour. It was, it was like a, you know, like a, a pub crawl. Mm, not a pub crawl, but it was a, a brewery tour, okay? Because I love craft beers. And one of the breweries we went to was a, 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 a lesbian, all-female run brewery, right? It just happened to be on the tour. The beer was good. There's no, It had nothing to do with the you know, uh, LGBTQRS alphabet stuff. It, they made good beer. So they were a popular brewery. You know what I mean? You make good product, people want it. <laughs> See, the video debuted on March 7th for, for Women's History Month, but critics recently began sharing clip, clips of it. A social media leading the beer brand to trend on Twitter on Monday. So basically, the backlash from uh, Bud Light is hitting M- Miller Light too. Oops, <laughs> that's hilarious. I didn't even I didn't even see this, guys. Put it in the comments if you saw this because I didn't. Someone said it seems like Miller Light doesn't understand their audience either. Um, says one account that has. W- it's 1.7 million views. All light beer ads must include lesson and gender studies to improve their ESG score. Say Miller Lite has joined the woke cult. Miller Lite said to Bud Light, hold my beer, and decided to create a, a new ad can- campaign straight out of the 2010s I hate all men effinism to sell drink to customers they hate. Man, you know what? I wonder if the Miller Lite people were... um. We're like hoping that this didn't come out. I mean, that, that that no one remembered this, right? Because this flew right under the radar. So the Miller Lite con- controversy comes on the heels of a Bud Light's partnership with, with Dylan Mulvaney, who was revealed at the beginning of April. Mulvaney's partnership with Bud can, can consisted of the social media personality sharing with her, new, her nearly 2 million followers that the beer co- company celebrating her first anniversary of transitioning by creating a beer with her face on it. Backlash toward the partnership was fierce. Calls to boycott the light beer brand spread like wildfire with polls showing more than half of Americans supported boycotting Bud Light. Some social media videos have gone viral for showing the apparent effects of the boycott, including empty lines for Bud Light vendors at, at, at baseball games. People have also allegedly been attacked by others who they thought broke the boycott. The parallels between Miller Lite and Bud Light, two light beer companies, are being constantly drawn by critics on Twitter. Outkick.com founder Clay Travis tweeted that Miller Lite saw Bud Light disaster and decided that they needed their own woke beer ad. (laughs) These companies are often broke and have no idea who actually consumes their products, Travis said. Later saying that Miller Lite learned nothing from the Bud Light disaster. Others agreed. Data seems, data seems to back the claims that boycotts of the beer brand are working. Bud Light sales for the third week in April were down 21.1% compared to the same time last year. And the week before, sales were down 17%. Man, oh man. The Wall Street Journal has reported that Bud Light has been giving away its product for free to its distributors following the backlash. Bud Light has also reportedly hired consultants who have Experience within conservative circles to advertise the beer campaign as it attempts to move forward. Wow! Of course, they they reached out to um to Molson Coors, but they didn't hear anything. So, guys, it looks like this ad came out like 
like back in March, and then someone goes, "Ah, uh-uh, guys, look, they they be Miller Lite did it too." And what's funny is I wonder if one if someone from Bud Light did this. <laughs> Imagine someone from Bud Light goes, "Here, we can shift the the attention away from us," and then snitched on Coors Light. Uh, I mean, on Miller Lite. <laughs> All right, you guys, let me know what you think. Let me think which ad is worse. The Dylan Mulvaney ad or this effinist, you know, swearing a lot, we're strong, independent, women type of thing. Because I think they're both as bad, and I probably won't be drinking Miller Lite anymore. So, all right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe. I'm out of here. Take it easy, guys.